Nikki, do you want to come up for the Capital Program Report and Paul? Kia ora katoa, good morning. Um, we, are, we have a couple of points for you today uh, to summarise the report. So we're delivering as per forecast with August, September and October on track. Uh, the project manager's forecast is coming down, so it's closer to the program management office forecast of 510 million, so within 5.3%. Um, the forecasting accuracy risk has now been closed, uh, and that's following a steady improvement in this area over the last two years. Um, FY25 forecasts are considered achievable for most of the areas of uh, capital based on past expenditure reports. And lastly, uh, 67806, so the treatment plant, the activated sludge, um, once this project is established, we'll put that on the watch list. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Yanni. Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, and thank you for adding the improving Bromley Road um, to the to the watch list. I, I guess there just seems to be a, a problem in the way that it's being reported as being on track when it's not. So it's been like repeatedly delayed. So I'm just wondering if there's like, I'm just wondering how we set the project objectives and measure them and I get that this is mainly around to do with finance, but it kind of gives the wrong impression when it says it's all green and it's actually being like delayed repeatedly. So I'm just wondering if there's a way, like I've got the original staff memo that's got the project objectives. Is there a way that we can measure against the project objectives rather than just the financials? We are measuring against both financials and baseline. And you see on Bromley Roads that the baseline is June 25 for delivery, which is green at the moment because it's yeah. forecast the same. So it's at the moment it's green on finance and delivery. Right. But we were supposed to consult in time for the LTP 2024 on a plan and we didn't. And then we were supposed to consult at the first quarter of 2024 on a plan and we didn't. And we now still don't even have the plan to consult on. So I guess is your question, Yanni, the are the metrics that are being fed into the reporting, do they account for the points that Yanni's raised in terms of those other project milestones? So the, the metric there that's being measured is project delivery complete. Right. And so what the project delivery complete current forecast is June 25. Okay. Now, that does take into account other milestones to see whether we think that or the project manager thinks that that's deliverable still at June 25, given that some of those other milestones have been missed. Okay, so so yeah. knowing we won't, you know, we I don't expect you to have the answer for that today. Um, can we take that away and have something circulated to council around the points that Yanni's raised? Because it would be good to understand that. Yeah, like here's the date for the plan to be produced. Okay, we're we're running red. We haven't met it. So what do we need to do to make sure that we can meet that? Yeah, it just yeah. Okay, I appreciate cool. that. Yep. Like these, so we've, we've yeah. You that, got another question? That would be good. Um, I just um. The CWTP biogas, um, I, I was just thinking, given what we heard yesterday, and I don't quite know enough about it, but we're still producing energy at the wastewater treatment plant, and we were going to improve it. Um, we were going to add some stuff so we could we could increase the amount of ele uh, electricity that we, we use, and that electricity is just going back to the plant. So is that connected into the new activated sludge? reactor that we're doing? Might be a given question. Uh, they're separate projects. So the biogas uh, project had a number of drivers. One was we would eventually be able to produce more energy. Yeah. Just for the plant itself though, right? Not for... Yes, yeah. Yeah. That's correct. And the activated sludge will require more energy. Yes, correct. Is, is there a way that these two projects can be kind of tied in together? Can That's I... what we're looking at currently. So um, obviously, yeah, we're looking at the opportunities to to tie these projects together and currently look at the scope of the biogas project to um, yeah, reduce the, the overall cost. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. Me Melanie? Uh, 
Um, under the parks heritage foreshore, um, there's the variance of um, close to 10 million for development funded neighbourhood parks. Greenfield, I was just wondering if that could be explained by someone. That's largely land purchases, and when you're never sure when a land purchase is going to actually land. At the moment, we're forecasting 10 million above where the budget's been set, but it is funded through future years, so it'll be funded via a bring back. Right. So it's just really a timing of the budget and the actual purchases. Great, thanks. Good. Okay, so Jake looks like he's happy to move that. Yanni looks like he's happy to second it, but has a question. Yeah, uh, just so, um, and you know, I can pr probably guess the answer, but I'll just ask it anyway. Um, it was really good. We got the to, but... route selection report for the Wheels to Wings cycleway circulated on page 116. Um, we've done the preliminary high-level draft route assessment for the uh, Otakaro <laughs> route, uh, and that was um, undertaken early, so decisions around red zone and pages road renewal could be further informed. But we've never been able to be given a copy and repeated requests of it, but we've been refused. And I've been told I have to go to the ombudsman to get, you know, to appeal the decision. Given that we're the ones making decisions at a governance level, why can we not access that route, route selection? So I think assessment? Jacob's sitting in the... Back and row there. I don't know if you. There's, want to... a, there's a briefing to the board on well tomorrow, I think, on that very subject. So it will be shared with the board at that point. And will it be public? No. And why not? Um, for the reasons the ombudsman laid out. So we're making public decisions on things like Pages Road Bridge. So, so, but can, we're can not we, able to. We have. Can you have the briefing tomorrow? And you can probably there are probably discussions you can have there. I don't understand enough about it, so I'm not <laughs> that keen to have that conversation here when I, I don't know what we're talking about. Okay, right. okay, so that's been moved and seconded. Uh, all in favour? Right. Against? That's carried. Thank you very much. Okay, next up, Mark is here. And I don't know about, is Kent coming or just? No, he's good. 